Kusu Zambala, Namaste. Good morning to all online respected viewers. Long live their majesties, long live our leaders, and long live our association and friendship. Uh, welcome to this online uh, Ayurveda and Yoga Workshop, Embassy of India, Thimpu, ICCR, Nehru Wangfu Culture Center, Yoga Teacher, I'm KV SSN Muthi here. My sincere prayers to the Almighty to see all the best things to their majesties and the whole Bhutan also. So here, <coughs> so we are heading to uh, International Ayurveda Day, which is falls on 13th November tomorrow. It's a uh, two days before to Amavasya, called uh, two, two days before to No Moon Day. Called it's uh, that name called uh, as per Tidi, as per Lunar Day, Trayodasi. Tomorrow is Trayodasi. It's a uh, Ayurved father, father of Ayurved, Dhanvantri, Saint and Lord Dhanvantri's birthday, uh, birth anniversary. So, in regarding that, we have one sloka on the uh, uh, Lord Dhanvantri. Achutananda Govinda Vishnu Narayana Amruta Roganame Nasaya Seishan Ashudhanvantare Hare. Uh, means uh, like uh, Lord Dhanvantri is another form of Lord Sri Vishnu who is the destroyer of the death, who is the destroyer of the diseases and disorders. So right uh, in the uh, management of the uh, like uh, keeping ourselves safe from the infections so always please follow the physical distancing uh, wear your mask as well as cover your ears also when you are getting outside and Please properly follow hand hygiene and respiratory hygiene. Always carry your hand sanitizers whenever you are going outside to clean your hands. Whenever you are coming uh, uh, to the home, please immediately wash your mask and wash your dress and everything. Then after that, nozzle applications called Anu Taila as well as Shadbindu Taila or Ghee applications inside the nostrils. Please pour one one drops. Uh, like this is for respiratory hygiene. As, as well as try to uh, gargle the water, salt water or make Tripala inside or ST Madhu powder also. You can use any kind of these Ayurved powders to gargle the throat as well as to clean the mouth. So for uh, especially oil pulling also recommended in these days uh, for especially mouth health. As well as steam inhalation in a day four to five times if possible do steam inhalation uh, after adding this eucalyptus oil or otherwise seed oil or any good, good Ayurved oils. Uh, adequate sleep 6 to 8 hours required when you are working in front of the computers one more hour required but that is in the afternoon please take power nap or do yoga nidra to give relaxation to the body and the mind uh, as well as so chavan prash or shilajit or local uh, cordyceps please use them uh, for your better immunity and for your uh, better blood composition so take kadachai preparation for the specially uh, immunity boosting as well as to regenerate your health to keep you alert and uh, uh, to keep you focused so tomorrow on occasion of uh, uh, lord dhanvantari's birthday i'm going to show this kadachai preparation that that we want tomorrow so here try to use vitamin a diets vitamin e diets uh, uh, vitamin c diets as well as uh, zinc based diets so that is abundantly in local fruits and local vegetables and milk products so as well as nuts coconut please add them uh, thoroughly but if you have any allergic condition inside please try to see what are the things which is suitable to your body what are the things not suitable to the body please take advice from your uh, yoga teacher as well as physician also uh, like uh, on, on different themes international ayurved uh, day has been conducting from 2016 2016 theme is ayurved for, for diabetes 2017 theme is ayurved for pain management uh, 2018 theme is your uh, like ayurved for public health 2019 theme is ayurved for better longevity 2020 theme is ayurved for covid related issues uh, pre covid and post covid and how to be uh, be very healthy while doing this ayurved applications so right uh, coming to the ayurved important uh, sloka again i'm keeping on uh, chanting this sloka from last one the very important sloka called samadosha samagnischa samadhatu malakriya prasannatmendriya swasthesya abhidhiyate a complete balance inside the body, inside the metabolic changes, inside the dhatus, inside the malas, malas means excretory systems, uh, inside the doshas, vata, pitta, kapha, as well as full balance in the mind also. So that a complete balanced mind, a complete balanced body will bring lots of positive changes in regarding health. So in this, uh, in this regard, uh, uh, gen common cold and general infections, we have different four applications today. So today our uh, simple application is take 
amla powder, uh, Indian gooseberry powder 10 grams and add uh, haldi 10 grams, very simple, 10 grams plus 10 grams or 1 is to 1 preparation. Add properly and mix with uh, honey, then after that in 100 ml water mix it properly and drink that uh, uh, preparation. Uh, this is early in the morning as well as late evenings, uh, before bed also you can use this preparations. But before 1 hour to this preparation or after 1 hour preparation, like uh, at least give 1 hour time before and after meals, please remember. So here our next important simple home remedy called Bruntaka Bija Chikitsa. Bruntaka Bija means uh, brinjal seeds. Take brinjal seeds, dried uh, dried seeds. You, 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 if you will go to the seeds uh, market, plant seeds market, it is available. Bruntaka seeds, uh, brinjal seeds. Take that seeds and after that properly fry that on an open pan and after that mix it properly, crush it properly and make it a fine powder. So use that for nasya chikitsa inhalation. Uh, but you, uh, like uh, use a small paper or this small cloth just put it inside and just uh, smell it throughout the day it is also very simple preparation for the specially uh, like a uh, nozzle uh, nozzle blockings <coughs> coming to next another simple preparation called take 300 ml of milk and here take 20 grams of ginger powder or plain ginger but mix it well and pour it in the put it in the uh, milk then after that take 20 grams of uh, turmeric as well as take uh, 8 to 10 close lovang <coughs> here mix it properly again crush it and add them in the 300 ml of milk properly boil that for at least 5 to 10 minutes time then after that you can take as it easily without filter and today's our next important preparation is black jira kalonji so take black jira this is also very simple preparation so nearly take 30 grams of black jira then after that so properly heat it on an open pan let it dry or let it fry first then after that so uh, like uh, keep them in a white cloth or any cloth uh, just to try to make it like a small ball so throughout the day just keep on smelling but this is also called nasya chikitsa for specially nozzle blocking as well as running nose issues <coughs> Right. When you are uh, uh, when we are meeting tomorrow here in the same place, we are uh, like uh, demonstrating kadachai preparation and other preparations also for the common code. So let's join in our yoga class. And sun salutation is our regular practice along with the mantra chanting, bijakshara and the sloka. So when you have your traditional belief, you can follow the mantra chanting or else just follow the physical exercises. So take a long deep inhalation and exhalation after that. Pranamasan at your chest called Anahata Pranamasan. Om Hiran Mayena Patrena Satyasya Bihitam Mukham Tatvam Pushan Apavruno Satya Dharmaya Drustaye Om Hram Hrim Hrum Haim Hraum Raha Mitra Ravi Surya Bhanu Kagapusna Hiranya Garbha Maricha Aditya Savitra Arka Bhaskaraya Namaha Chachivar Bodha Arms Hasta Uttan Asan means only arm lifting after that pull yourself up. From there, according to your convenience and flexibility, slightly put a back bend called Ardha Chandrasan or Ardha Chakrasan. Then again, keep your body straight. Once again, pull yourself up. Then very slowly, carefully bend the body forward. But if you have any lower back issues or above back issues or neck or head issues, avoid forward bend. But remaining all till you are... Uh, floor, touch your uh, floor with your hands and few seconds stay here. Then after that right leg is your back leg called Aswa Sanchalanasan after your Padahastasan and back leg straight on the toes and back leg knee up then very slowly join your forward leg to back called Santulanasan or Dandasan. 
and after that bend your knees and completely bend the body keep your chest completely down called Asta Anga Namaskarasan then very slowly lift the body call, lifted head cobra poster called Bujangasan throughout the practice do not hang your body in between completely push yourself up pull the shoulders down and few seconds stay here and back leg straight on the toes and slowly keep your back leg up and push your body inside called Pada Hastasan no, sorry, Parvatasan. Then after that, right leg must be your forward leg called Aswa Sanchalanasan. And after that, back leg straight on the toes and coming to Pada Hastasan. Then very slowly lift your both the arms up, Hasta Uttanasan. Once pull yourself up. From there, slightly put a back bend called Ardha Chandrasan or Ardha Chakrasan. Then again, keep your body straight. Pranamasan above to the head, and from there, same pranamasan at your chest region called Anahata Pranamasan. Lift your both the arms up, and very slowly wide your both the arms. Then very slowly bring them down towards your thighs called Samastiti. So after that, hands lock back and few seconds wide your legs and stay for your better uh, breath break. Long and deep in uh, inhalations and exhalations. Alright, coming to actually yoga posters, today also we are seeing very simple and very effective yoga posters which can be performed by everyone. Alright, <coughs> so here coming to Nataraj Asan variation. So here, last week, before last week also we did the same practice. So when you have um, uh, balancing or imbalancing issues, so try to hold wall support or try to take any uh, chair or any support. So keep your right leg as a back leg, then open your left hand forward and turn them and try to uh, like uh, join your index finger and thumb for only for concentration then after that keep that hand in front of the forehead then here back leg is your right leg fold your back leg catch your back leg ankle or toes or even you can catch your pant cloth also then after that lift your leg up throughout the practice concentration on your palm on your mudra or concentration any of the point in front of you then here, few seconds stay now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a ten. Then very slowly come back, release, and relaxation. Enough, come back. Then few seconds, rest your thighs and rest your legs. Again, long and slow, deep inhalation and exhalation. Then after that, quick recovery time. Then here keep your right leg as a forward leg, put your left leg as a back leg. Then here also open your right arm forward and turn them and come to Chin Mudra or Yana Mudra and concentration on that Mudra or concentration any of the point in front of you. Then fold your back leg, catch your toe or ankle or even you can catch your pant cloth also. So lift your leg up, again stay for a while, one, two, three, four, five, six seven eight nine then very slowly release from the posture and relaxation enough again take a long deep and slow inhalation and exhalation and coming to ardha ustrasan or ustrasan for a back bend on the knees so according to your convenience you can do this posture or if you have any severe knee issues or any issues related uh, issues of, of the hips or thighs better to choose alternative way of doing or better to slow down your practices or still better is avoid the practices and please see but take advice from your yoga teacher before starting your yoga exercises so very simple exercise then fold your right leg and fold your left leg and stand on the knees so here take a long pause very simple Ardha Ustrasan is very simple and very effective back bend so whenever you are like a free in your offices when your circumstances environments will uh, like uh, supports you please do bend, uh, some kind of bendings or stretchings whenever body required a stretching or bending so immediately do that unless it will go to further complications or further rigidness or further cramps so right keep your body straight then here hands on the waist and few seconds turn your elbows back keep your shoulders back 
Then here, push your body forward, lift your chin up and stay for a while. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Relaxation, enough. Come back. Then very slowly slide your arms down. Then very slowly come to the diamond shaped poster or Vajrasan. Diamond shaped poster or diamond poster. Then few seconds to stay here. And few seconds come to your LD breath break and long deep slow inhalation and exhalation. Then after that slowly turn the body and keep them straight. So today our next exercise is next posture is called Maha Mudra Asan. This is also for uh, back stretching as well as abdomen squeezing as well as leg stretching as well as pelvic stretching. So uh, like uh, please choose proper way of doing or uh, like don't see the rights or wrongs or don't see the post performances or do not imitate others like uh, be at your convenient level convenient zone and comfort zone while doing the yoga posters then coming to Savasthiti then after that <coughs> slightly wide your legs then fold your left leg inside put your heel closer to the perineal region or touch your perineal region so see your right leg should go to the 90 degree angle or still if you have flexibility you can slightly stretch it side then this is not forward bending so anyone can do but observe carefully while doing so open your right hand to the right side toes then open your left hand also to the same leg toes you can touch your toes or totally wrap or you can just catch your total ankle so this is also comes under mudra abhyas also maha mudra abhyas also but as a poster we are doing so that we are not really concentrating on the bandhas and mudras so here turn your all the toes inside then after that try to bend the body forward towards the knee as possible as maximum and here few seconds stay now one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten then very slowly come back then very slowly release and stretch your both the legs forward so this kind of posters obviously it will develop some kind of cramps or rigidness around your thigh around your pelvic so here immediately after that fold your two legs then to the right side and to the left side just turn your hips and turn your thighs for better relaxation so please remember before doing a posture how important is warm up like that after doing after finishing your posters also this kind of post stretches very important for every posture if you will do this kind of warm up as well as post stretches for every posture you will not feel hot okay opposite side same thing wide your legs then after that fold your right leg inside like keep your uh, uh, heel closer to the perineal region or you can touch your perineal region also so keep your left leg to the 90 degree angle or slightly wide according to your flexibility then here also stretch your same side hand called left hand to the left side toes and very slowly open your right arm and catch your same leg toes then here try to push your body forward but do not give over strain on the body so as per your limitations as per your convenient zone bend accordingly so try to if if you have really good flexibility touch your both the elbows towards the floor to give a more stretching but if you have no flexibility no, no need to worry as per your convenience do then here completely bend and stay one two three four five six seven eight nine and turn then slowly come back then lift your head and open your hands and slowly release and relax from the posture then again very slowly keep your both the legs together fold them then use your both the hands as supporters behind the body to the right side and to the left side just go for your post relaxation techniques or relaxation techniques after posters all right okay take again long and deep inhalation and exhalation so today's our last posture is on lotus posture practice so according to your flexibility you can do this one so slightly wide your legs 
and after that so we have two variations one is right leg up one is left leg up so today we will see the two variations so here first fold your right leg then after that put your right ankle on the left thigh after keeping your right leg flat so try to uh, like push your right knee down against your right ankle few seconds stay here one two three four and five then here observe carefully if you have already cramps immediately relax the leg then again few seconds give relaxation after that again fold the same leg then here fold your left leg closer to the right knee first and few seconds observe then after that again try to completely fold your left leg under your right knee called half lotus posture so here at your convenient region again slightly move your left leg out from the right knee zone then here push your right knee to the floor with your right hand then after that with your left hand support catch your left ankle so here give a small exercise lift that leg and down lift your left leg and down lift your left leg and down so last count lift your left leg at least only 50% uh, put that left leg on the right calf muscle or right leg but use your left hand support if you have no issues then very slowly pull the leg up again pull the leg up again pull the leg up again pull the leg up so at the final try to lock your ankle with your two hands left ankle with your two hands then completely press towards the abdomen and few seconds stay here one two three observe carefully now your both the toes is coming towards your both the knees so this is actually second priority uh, lotus posture but lotus posture actually practices your both the heels should come at your kanda sthan uh, or navel region so here kanda pidana asana sreni we have many posters so actually lotus posture also one way of kanda pidana asan but the way how you are doing but your both the heels must come together at your lower abdominal region and now coming to okay relaxation so use this simple technique for relaxation then totally keep move your right legs to the right side left leg right uh, left side right side then stretch opposite side same thing here same lotus posture opposite side uh, it's a left leg importance fold your left leg then after that same thing keep your left leg ankle fold on the right knee again same exercise use your left hand or two hands to push your knee towards the floor then after that slowly you fold your right leg closer to the left knee and totally put your right leg under your left knee and call half lotus then according to your convenience again keep move your right leg out from the left leg zone then after that catch your right ankle with your right hand use your left hand to press your left knee throughout the practice then keep lift your leg up and down again keep your leg up and down last count lift your right ankle put it on the calf of the left leg then very slowly adjust small adjust again adjust still adjust then at the final press your leg inside as max as possible still you can hold your legs with your two hands for better support and few seconds stay one two three four and five relaxation enough come back then slowly legs wide and stretch forward again fold your two legs then relaxation so now i am going to demonstrate lotus posture how it will be towards the kandasthan very simple only thing is fold your right leg but if you already know about this uh, lotus posture you can do well fold your right leg put your right heel at your abdominal region and after that fold your left leg again put that heel at your abdominal region so when you keep your body erect obviously your abdominal region and your navel region and your heels must come touch together and in this posture if you slightly apply pressure uh, by pushing your body forward obviously you will feel a pressure at your kandasthan or navel region so that it is also comes under kandasthan kandapidanasana sreni 
uh, but the way how you are doing also important here if you will put a back bend uh, sorry forward bend obviously it will press your kandasthan very important uh, nerve junction inside like around your navel region called kandasthan so the all the pranic uh, pranic pravah nerves channels getting together or criss cross together uh, here at your lower abdominal region okay now very slowly keep move your legs out then very slowly relax your legs then after that keep your both the hands back slant them to the right side and to the left side just keep move your knees relax for a while <coughs> all right so here try to sit in any convenient posture today i'm keeping my lotus posture for the pranayam uh, before the pranayam please use this mantra for better chanting uh, the purpose of pranayam the purpose of yoga is as we mentioned that it's not only for the physical health or material wealth so this external vehicle body internal vehicle mind should be very healthy and very active till we reach our next spiritual heights uh, for that purpose only we are doing yoga abhyas but in doing during our practices health will be following us but the people who are doing this exercises regularly yoga exercises pranayam exercises regularly uh, health is a basic benefit uh, to them so coming to mantra chanting and shloka chanting take a long deep inhalation and exhalation so Uh, if you have water you can sip the water also while chanting this shloka om kesavaya swaha om narayanaya swaha om madhavaya swaha om adya samadhi tatpala siddhyadham asana purvakan pranayama din karishye Om Sant 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 Hi Then very slowly keep your hands down take a long deep inhalation exhalation like our yesterday's practice Anulom Vilom very simple pranayam as well as uh, Bhastrika pranayam like uh, we are beginning with the Kapalabhati sadhana Kriya Abhyas as well as Pranayam Abhyas so let's finish the regular kriya abhyas as we know that vastra loha karasya racha purav sasam bhramau kapala bhatir vikhyata kapa dosha visoshani it's important text given in the hatha yoga pradipika called kapa dosha visoshani from related disorders must be calmed down while doing this practice kapala bhati uh, like vastrika uh, also the same kind of technique but completely opposite set process of the kapala bhati sharp inhalation also called as vata pitta slash maharam sharir agni vivardhanam also it is also mentioned that for kundalini for the people who are doing for the spiritual upliftment through the kundalini way or tantric way for them also vastrika is very important practice so let's coming to the uh, kapala bhati so 10 plus 10 plus 10 strokes keep your position straight now starting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 then again long deep inhalation exhalation and second spell 10 strokes 1 2 3 8 9 10 then again long deep inhalation exhalation in the kapalbhati also we are not doing any special variations for our online participants we are creating very simple and effective practices uh, coming to uh, anulom viloma pranayam so here very simple exercise nadi shodhana pranayam so we can call it as a nadi shodhana pranayam Uh, use your right hand last two fingers and use your right hand thumb to close and open the nostrils so here close your left nostril and inhalation with the right nostril 
and completely slowly breathe out with the left inhalation with the left exhalation with the right inhalation with the right exhalation with the left inhalation with the left nostril and completely slowly breathe out with the right nostril inhalation with the right nostril and completely slowly breathe out with the left nostril so initially four inhalations four exhalations are enough but when you have more time to do you can choose more repetitions also so coming to bastrika pranayam here voluntary inhalation sharp inhalations slow exhalations here also 10 plus 10 plus 10 stroke 30 strokes keep your position straight then starting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 then again long deep inhalation and exhalations second 10 starting again 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 then again long deep slow inhalation and exhalation between your practice to practice strokes to strokes give a small break then last 10 strokes again for the same exercise 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 again long deep slow inhalation and exhalation after your pranayam practices so use proper practices for your trataka abhyas or concentration practices after that please do if you know well about the dharana practices or meditation practices please do those practices also after finishing your yoga practices at least give 10 minutes time to relax the body in shavasan or in any convenient comfortable posture but don't use your mobiles then still after finishing your total yoga workout including this uh, relaxation uh, at least give 15 minutes time to take bath as well as further 5 minutes time to take breakfast uh, in the afternoon before your lunch see all the possibilities to take power nap or do yoga nidra abhyas uh, in the evening after finishing your exercises after finishing your practices and houseworks and office works sports games works and garden works and household works give at least half a uh, half an hour uh, compartment to do your self yoga exercises include one back bending exercise and include one inverted posture also and tomorrow when we are meeting here in the same place we are seeing still more applications in the ayurveda as well as still more applications in the yoga abhyas so until then take care of yourself stay away from the bad habits and do yoga also thanking you all to giving me this wonderful opportunity